Farming is often a balancing act between environmental sustainability and financial viability. On one side, you are out to make money, and on the other, you are protecting your most valuable economic resource. The Minnesota Water Quality Certification Program was begun in 2015 to help incentivize farmers to protect one of their valuable resources, water. Almost 1,200 farms have been certified, covering nearly a million acres of Minnesota farmland. Certification also deems an operation in compliance with any new water quality legislation for a decade. The regulatory certainty has become an attraction for beginning the water certification program. Brad Redland is the water quality certification program manager for the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. That's really an insurance policy for those 10 years to know they're either going to be in compliant with it after those 10 years or they have 10 years to make any tweaks that they might have to meet some new law. The water quality certification program reviews every part of a farming operation that might affect the water leaving a farm, from tillage practices to manure management. The surprise finding is that farms that fulfill the parameters required by the water quality certification are consistently more profitable. When you do site-specific risk assessment response and analysis, you're you're maximizing your performance on the farm. We have these licensed accredited agronomists, conservation planners that go out and work with the farmer throughout the entire operation, every step of the way, maximize their performance, it's gonna be more profitable. It's, it's no different than any other industry or any other uh, application of management to uh, a production challenge. If you maximize that performance, the property or the profit's gonna be there and that's what's been shown to happen. The study's authors emphasize that being certified is not the key to improved profitability, but rather managing a farming operation at a level that would qualify a farm for certification is an indicator of other work being done. Keith Olander is executive director of AgCentric, a state of Minnesota program that bridges the gap between agriculture and education. To become water quality certified, you have to step through the process, which means that I am watching all of the practices on my fields and within my livestock. Those are things that maybe we take for granted in some of the farming operations, but it isn't maybe uniform in practice, but it tends to bring those out to say that helps us become more profitable. So yes, I'm a little leery to just say, you're water quality certified now and you're going to be more profitable. But undoubtedly, that cohort after over four years and starting to get over 100 farms, it's really hard to argue that. The fact that the uh, water quality certified managers are still showing to be more profitable than even their cohorts within this financial service provision process that uh, the Farm Business Management Program provides, that um, it just more clearly delineates the fact that uh, what certification values is what's profitable. Producers who market directly to consumers use their water quality certification to differentiate themselves from others in the market. Water quality certification is an enhancement to your farm over the long term. I think that's, it's a bold statement, but it's a fair statement that we can make. So the consumer can draw back a little confidence to say we're doing both of those in a fair way, that we're supporting farmers to be viable economically and environmentally sustainable. For Todd Stencil, who farms in Waseca County, Minnesota, reducing tillage passes, one of the requirements to get certified, lowers input costs and creates a higher performing soil. Bottom line, the number one would be time saving. The amount of labor savings and fuel savings is significant. To achieve certification, Stencil made adjustments to the tiles on the edges of his fields. He installed low velocity water quality inlets that slow the access to the tile once ponding occurs, reducing the amount of soil that is washed down the tile, and keeping the trash from harvest on the field. It was a fairly simple process. I had inquired about it through the NRCS and our local soil and water, got the paperwork, kind of contemplated it, and then with, uh, with the help of the NRCS, uh, was encouraged to apply for it. On my particular farm, because of the ridge till and strip till I was already using, it was actually very simple to implement the different things they recommended. All I had to do was change a few of those, prove the paperwork on my current practices, and I was in. Water qualified certified farms tend to have more livestock than the average farm in Minnesota, which may require a higher level of management. Access to manure reduces input costs while also improving soil chemistry. 
that practice of examining every dollar earned and spent on the farm and determining the unique best practices for each producer often improves the profitability compared to neighboring farms. You know, I don't want anybody to say, if I go get water quality certified, I'm going to make more money. I, I don't think that that's the game. I, I think it's always the idea that if I'm going to be a successful business, i got to think like a successful business. And certainly what water quality has pointed out is that those people that are certified think like successful business owners. But that just comes back to this management of soils, the environment, and that falls back into my economics. For Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.